Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on his hands. Mm, the stick boy. And we're playing a Monster Hunter World. Uh, Ooh, mm. Are you the, the man in the world uh, doing all the stuff? I hunt the monsters. So, yeah, um, let's. I'm going to give Jonas some fun facts about the game real quick. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, man. This game has a lot of stuff in it. It's really more in depth. Like what you see is only on on the surface here. Okay. So there's like different items that do different things. Like these raise my attack. Okay. These heal. Okay. These take poison. I can actually trap the monsters using traps. Oh, okay. I can put them to sleep. There are like explosive obstacles oh, I can okay. put things. So it's, it has like a true like RPG element to yeah, it. Yeah, these items right here, I just put, I just hold in my inventory, and they give me passive attack and defense. Uh, there are things I can use to blind the monsters. I can okay. shoot them out of my little wrist blade. There's, oh. there's a ton, you can actually craft items on the move. Tons of different gameplay. There's. 20 something different weapons that you can use from like there's like actual like guns so you can like fashion like a bow gun and you can just play in a totally different way than like jumping oh on so them. it's kind of like assassin's creed like you can play it like depending how you play you can it can be a completely different game yes yeah oh uh, well, yeah in a lot of ways yes so there's melee weapons there's like a hammer there's swords there's a great sword like cloud there's uh, an axe that turns into a sword. Mm -hmm. There's a short sword that turns into an axe. <laughs> There's, I don't know. It's it's very very anime, I guess. Right, right. It's Bombaro time. But that makes it. I mean, it makes the game have replay value because like you could play yeah. with all melee weapons and then you can go for all ranged weapons the next time or yeah. whatever. Like yeah, like with the uh, not too with Assassin's Creed. Like you chose the stealth way, but you could have oh, done. Well, but you could have done the. Guns a blazing way, yeah. or whatever, you know. It's yeah. like, so I put in, like I said, I've got, I got put thirteen hundred hours into one weapon in this game. Holy, <laughs> <laughs> and then I started using this weapon, and I have about two hundred hours on this weapon now. Oh, what weapon did you use before? Was it a, the same style of? Weapon? It was the charge blade. It's like a sword and shield that turns into a giant axe. Okay. And uh, <laughs> it was it's it's a cool weapon, but you know you, you get tired of one one weapon, you choose another one. Next time I use like a bow, or okay, maybe, or maybe a bow gun. Everybody keeps bow staff. A, is there? No, there is an insect glaive, which is like <laughs> a bow staff with a blade on it. And you can shoot bugs. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I didn't shoot. realize how ridiculous it sounds when I'm saying it. You can shoot it. a bug gun, huh? You, it, no, it's a, it's like a bug bladed staff. It's a bug, bug blade. bladed staff. I like it. Yeah, it's also what I've started calling my gun. A bug bladed staff. Yeah, it shoots ladybugs. Wow. Only ladybugs. All right. All right, that makes sense. My America. When was the last time you read a newspaper? Wow. I don't even know what reason I would have reason in this paper. So like, can you remember the last time you went to the paper to look at something? <laughs> no. Remember when you had to look up showtimes for movies in the newspaper? Oh, or, yeah, and how coveted the TV guide was. Yeah, dude, or you had to call the theater and listen on the phone for all the showtimes. <laughs> and you have to be like, Bad News Bears plays at 12.15, 1.30, 30. And then, and then it would be like, G.I. Joe plays, and you had to listen to like every single movie, and of course your movie was always the last one. Oh, so you're on the phone God. for like five minutes. Movie, You'd be calling, it would be busy. Movie phone, Jonas. Yeah, dude. God, people don't even use the phone anymore. Phone phone isn't even a thing now. Yeah. I talked to some people on the phone. Yeah, but you're a boomer. Everybody video chats now. I wouldn't say everybody video chat. I still feel like that's kind of invasive. I feel like uh, text texting is the number one way that people communicate in America. I would, I I would almost guarantee yeah. it. I, I would, yeah. Well, it's nice because it's like it's like you can have like an instant messenger in your pocket all the time. 
But then, you know, but then of course everybody thinks that you an, should be available all the time. An instant messenger. It's basically what has happened. We went from like having instant messenger on computers. That's where like texting like really got big. Quick, quick messaging. I mean, you know, we could also say that we now have, it's like having Morse code in your hand. It is. <laughs> Like having hier- <laughs> it's like having hieroglyphics. I can just send straight to your face. Yeah. I just wish that, like, you could put, like, your text messages in, like, the end. Like, you could just be like, everyone could see. Do not disturb me. I'm uh, not going to reply to you. Like, oh, man. I will stay on that. Yeah, well, right. And that's what you could do. Like, so people, because, you know what I mean? Like, people get butt hurt when they're like, I texted you. <laughs> and, and I didn't hear back from you, and you're like, I was busy, dude. Sorry. I was busy, dude. <laughs> but like, uh, no. For example, this is like, and here's like an example. I have a friend. Yeah. They uh, they were looking for a job, and uh, we had went out to uh, eat, and they in the place we went to eat was like looking for like a server, but not like they didn't need one right away, but would soon. So they left their information. And, and the, uh, they talked to the owner or whatever, and the owner was like, yeah, I'll get a hold of you when a position comes up. Well, the owner texted them at night. Like, say it's like 8, 8 p.m. Text them and says, hey, are you, uh, this is so-and-so from XYZ restaurant. Uh, we had talked, you know, are you in still interested in a position? And they were busy that night and didn't reply back. The next morning, the person texts them back and goes, guess you aren't interested anymore. Oh, and, my God. And they were just like, well, now I'm not. Get the hell out of here. You didn't even give me a full day to get back to you? Like, Yo, who are you? You like, know what? And I, I think that's an underlying another issue. I, this, you just reminded me of, yeah. like, I remember I, I had a friend. We know this guy. And the reason I say had, because I've recently, I cut the, cut the person anyway. Had a friend. Had a my girlfriend had a friend and she was cute. Honestly, Jonas, I ain't gonna say she was cuter than my girlfriend, but she was cuter than my girlfriend. <laughs> right? I'm not not saying that. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. <laughs> Either way, I was like, my dude, you should probably hit this girl up. I'm like, she's pretty cute, man, and you know she's probably in your league. <laughs> right. Okay, got gotcha. you. <laughs> anyway, so I I tell him I was like. I'm gonna give you your phone number. I tell her that I'm who who I'm giving her phone number, and I'm like, I can vouch for the dude. He's a decent guy. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, I vouch for you, so you know, just just treat her with respect because even beyond the fact that she was my my ex girlfriend's friend at the time, uh, she was, you know, we were cool too. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> but you're just like, hey, I'm gonna give my home your number. So yeah, I'm like, just hit her up, and so he calls. She doesn't answer, but she was over my house. He like called her right after he got the number. And she didn't answer. And then she was over at our house for a little bit. And then she ended up leaving and she went home. And the next day, he she didn't uh, she didn't call him back either. Right, didn't like respond to the message. Or, yeah, like, but you know, obviously she had like she had like a, a reason for it. Yeah, because she's busy. But it was literally like I don't know, maybe like twelve hours. And this dude left a message on her phone, calling her names and stuff. Just basically like nice guy kind of stuff. Where you think you're like nice, but you're like, oh, you don't want to call me, then F you. And all of this, and like, stupid B. And just like leaving her like some ill voice messages. And I'm like, dude, chill out. Like, what'd you think? I was just like guaranteeing you a girlfriend here or something? Right. Like, like yeah. Like, all of a sudden, you're like, here's this number. She's now your girlfriend. Yeah, it doesn't work that way, man. <laughs> I'm not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. I don't have the power to make this girl love you. Right. Nor, like, like, you don't have the power to automatically get this guy I a job. I can get your foot in the door. Exactly. That's all I can do. Then you got to work your own magic. Yeah. Yeah, and they were just like, they were like, yeah, I was interested in working there. And, but now I'm not? Like, exactly. if that's how you're going to treat me when I don't even work there? Oh, my God. I can't imagine you as my boss. Man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, holy crap, you hit me up at night, and then I didn't get back to you, and, like, by noon, you're already saying, guess you're not interested. Like, That's okay. That's nuts to me. That is nuts. Yeah, dude. So I don't why understand. didn't you call me? You're a professional. Now, now me, myself, I'm, I'm enough of a, uh, 
<laughs> like I don't like talking <laughs> just in general a lot. Yeah. So I understand that that behavior. Yeah. But I'm just like going. But I still feel if you're a place of employment, you should call a person to ask them to come for an interview. That it, that's not a thing that you should text about. I agree. Right. You know what I mean? Like that is a very not boomer thing to be like, hey, if you want me to come in and do an interview to work at your place, call and have a conversation with me. And you know what? I, I have to say is that that's probably like some of the only places is in a professional setting where a telephone conversation is still warranted. Right, exactly. Because like, it's just, it's not, it's but, a lot quicker than trying to text back and forth for an hour about anything. Yeah, and I mean, eventually that's going to be gone too. Right, <laughs> so, absolutely. Let's not say that it's not on its way out, but it right. is probably the only venue. Well, it's another thing too that's a safe enough assumption now that if anyone gives you a phone number, you just assume it's a cell phone and it can get text messages. Because yeah. back in the day, you'd be like, I might not be able to text this number. It could be a house line. They that, can't get my text message. That is true. That's yeah. true. So, but yeah, I was just like, it blew my mind. And like, yeah, your friend, it's like, but that, I think that's an, a guy insecurity thing more than anything. Dude, that that's the nice crazy. guy in cell. <laughs> that is, that is 100% in cell behavior. Yeah. A hundred percent. So it's, um, yeah, so it's just, it's... But it's behavior like that, though. It's just like yeah, this it's guy's like, problem. don't assume that... I mean, give somebody a, a break, man. Holy crap. Like, people are busy. Just because they text you doesn't mean that you need to get back to them in five minutes and be like... <laughs> yes, sir. What do you need, sir? Like, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> no. You're my friend. I'll talk to you when I got time, dude. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what people are thinking out here. They're, everyone's just entitled, dude. They just like Ooh. they're just like if I have if I take the time to message you, you should get right back. To me. No, dude, don't work like it's, that. The goddamn boomers. Yeah, Zoom, I mean, and, the it's, zoomers. and it's like if you're a woman or man out here, and like a guy you like or a talk, a girl you like or talking to, don't get back to you for a day or so. It's okay. It doesn't mean they don't like you anymore. <laughs> like let them have a <laughs> life, dude. Let them breathe. No, they don't get to live. I'm in their life now. Right. Like, oh my god, how dare you? went on a date with me and you don't talk to me for two days because you're busy like wow like I, I honestly don't know if i've ever been that guy what that has felt like that because i wasn't getting attention from a female i just don't think i'm him um i don't know if i i mean it, and if i have been i mean like i quickly learned that that wasn't gonna work yeah i think like Thank i think you when everyone's young and you don't know any better you may have that sort of mentality but as you like realize like if you like someone that is definitely not gonna make them like you <laughs> like absolutely not like if you want the quickest way to have someone not like you do that to them you know any any whether it's professional or romantic or whatever even if one of your you know what i mean like if, if me and you, like, say we met somewhere out, like, at an event, we have a common interest. We're like, oh, maybe we should hang out or do something or play video games. And we're like, that's cool. And then you text me, like, hey, hey, man, I met you the other day at the event. You want to come over and play some games? And then I was busy, and I didn't hit you up for, like, a day. And you message me back and go, guess you don't want to play games with me then. I'd be like, what? nope, you never get, do. How do you get mad? I don't understand never the mad. You're like, you're right. I don't ever want to play games Why with you now. Why do you get mad? I don't know, dude. I don't understand the good man. <laughs> it reminds me like that. Remember we went to that party and that girl flipped out because I wasn't like talking to her. And I just like better like maybe once or twice. Wait, what? You remember we went to that party where that girl had all the diverse friends and stuff and she was all proud of it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where we met the, like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Canadian laugh guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, yeah. She got mad towards the end of the night. Like, yeah, where are you going? Like, she, like she, like I was expected to just come over there and just fulfill my manly duties of and, pleasing like, her physically. Cuff her up and like. Yeah, she got mad at me. Where you been all night? I was like, whoa, lady. <laughs> this is. This is a I, little bit much. I came to your party to hang out with everybody yeah. at the party, like. Yeah, chill out. I'm trying to expand my social network over here. I'll, we already know each other. It doesn't mean that I don't like you any more, less. But uh, you're like, now I do, now that you brought that ish up. Yeah, that was that was tacky. I was like, that's why you single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single by choice. What are you single for? <laughs>
I can go out here and get a girl if I wanted one. I know how to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to be nice. <laughs> I do. Yeah. This is the thing. I know how to be nice. Yeah, dude. I just don't. Yeah, I never. I mean, I don't know. And I think just people. I think it's people have. You know, I think part of it is people who tend to be mistreated by people have, have that mindset that everybody's out to get them. Oh, are you saying hurt people hurt people right now? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Wow, Jealous, you're trying to make me feel guilty for Kinda, hating? yeah, I oh, guess. God dang it, You know, Jealous. like, if that's like your life experience, you expect people are doing that uh, to bother you. Uh, but, like, it's not, but it... I don't know. You just got. It's basically my message is be more secure, man. Like you have to. Yeah. The and quickest see, way I, to turn anyone off is be insecure. Even even with that friend that I was talking about, like later on, I started to realize that he probably had like some sort of like you. You gotta be like, there's something mentally there. Right. Yeah, whether it's a mental problem or just yeah. like some sort of mental hurdle that you can't get over, like some sort of like yeah. past trauma or some sort of experience you had, or and, and I'm not even like I don't know if I'm even saying it's like he, he's crazy right. or something, but there there's something that he, he was dealing with there because right, and maybe he's had experiences where like women have played him bad or something, and he just holds it. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Haven't we all? Right. It's well, yeah. all about being able to just deal with that ish or not. Right. I hate to even say it like that. But. Well, no, it's true, but, like, some people carry that ish, dude. That's why, like, you get with someone and they can't ever trust you because their last six boyfriends did this to them. <laughs> and you're like, and thanks for projecting. <laughs> yeah, stop going through my phone. <laughs> 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 Women, you would be a lot happier if they just stopped going to our phones, right, Jonas? <laughs> I'm <been> sure. <laughs> oh, I need you to co-sign this. No, nah, dude, I'll tell you what, though. The first, like, <laughs> when a woman asks, when a girl that I'm seeing asks me to look at my phone, that pretty much is like, my, like a big red flag. Really? So you, you have had that happen before. It makes me start questioning things. Yeah, yeah because you think, like, the person that is not trusting of you they're usually the person that's doing something right dude exactly you like like yeah. why all of a sudden are you bringing up am i trying to bite your neck all the time because you watch a vampire movie right exactly that like all of a sudden it. you're like let me see your phone why because what are you doing on your phone you know it's like i don't uh, i don't it, but it's just like it's like if you don't trust me enough to not even like need to go through my phone like what the what do you need my phone for other than like you want to prove to yourself that this, that, or the other, it, it's it's a selfish behavior. Uh, I mean, nothing. even if I was doing nothing and had nothing to hide, it bothers me. Jonas, do you want to get into toxic femininity? No. I would one hundred percent. We can alienate our entire female no. demographic. No, no, no. I'm, the guys do that ish too. They want to see their girlfriend's phone. I don't care about that chick. Not, phone. not you. <laughs> I'm no. not talking about how you handle things. There yeah. are very much insecure dudes who are like, let me see your phone. Who are you talking to? Oh, like, you know what I the mean? The control like, freak. Yeah. Dude. Men approach it in a totally different way. Yeah. Women, women do it out of insecurity. Men do it out of like, I got, well, I guess it's out of insecurity. Yeah. It's, a, it's ultimately <laughs> it's not, But it's, just, it's projected in a different way. Right. Yeah. Right. It's like, who are you talking to? Who my girl on the phone with? Like, Yo, do you do you remember when you used to do like talk shows about the controlling boyfriend? Yep. <laughs> That's so fake. Yep. That had to be staged. God I dang it, Bob Barrow. You die already. Yeah, dude. I don't know. It's just I don't I don't get it. And I guess maybe it's like as I've got older, I've got better. But like anymore, I'm just like, if you ain't gonna balance out my life, then bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if it if it's all me, no you, like. Amen. Brother. I'll find, you know what I mean? Like, I'm already good. Like, I don't need to give you everything I got. Like, That's if you ain't giving me what you got, you know? It's like, but it's a hard, it's a hard uh, thing to come up with that sort of, like, mantra, you know? It definitely takes time, my man. For sure. Look at you kill. You're in his gullet. <laughs> Dude, how else am I going to cut off his pieces? <laughs> I got to cut his pieces out. Pieces are cut gullet. <laughs> like my love for human interaction. Just cut it oh out of yourself. God, you know, this is inside his carcass. <laughs> all right, we good to stop? Yeah, man. All right, that was all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Make sure you do it again because we want you to look at us always. For Jonas and TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out. Yep.